Hey Aquarius, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I do appreciate it. This is going to be your love reading for, um, it's a, just a mid-month check-in, but um, they've been pretty detailed love readings that we've been doing. So let's see what comes out for you guys. We're going to do um, couples and singles, okay? And we're going to do them both at the same time, sort of. All right, so hang in there. We'll be coming back to the, I'll do a little bit of the couples and a little bit, we'll be flip-flopping back and forth, okay? So spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good for Aquarius couples what are the most important things we need to know in the way of love for anyone who's guided here to see this reading for the month of march getting to know each other again huh hmm what is this one make the effort and express your love wow this is definitely for someone who needs to um reconnect with their loved one because we've got the getting to know each other card and when this comes out in a couple's card i in a couple's um reading i always feel like it's time to start going out on fun dates again making sure you have date night making sure you make the effort and express your love exactly all right so getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens exactly time to get to know each other again make the effort great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take look how cute i love this card making that effort with each other expressing love go ahead and make the romantic gesture don't be afraid to be the first one to bring it up and say hey let's start planning you know date night whatever night of the week and let's start you know making sure somebody watches the kids for us for a few hours so we can just have some time alone nothing wrong with that guys nothing in fact i highly recommend it all right so that's um can you see these i don't know it doesn't really matter but that's couples all right what do we need to know for singles here in the way of love for aquarius singles anyone with aquarius placements for march 2021 love reading what do we need to know in the way of love finances and career and give your relationship a chance and at the bottom trust okay so finances and career has been an ongoing theme with all the love readings i think almost everybody's had it so far uh financial issues are a factor in your love life right now but this is not uncommon obviously everybody um, almost everybody has had it so far give your relationship a chance work on your partnership this to me is always when it comes out in a singles reading it's somebody who's turning away from love like they're like no i mean like i don't want to be in love this is just someone who's um pretty much turning their back on any kind of relationship right now well for one they're fo they're focused on finances and career um and we have trust this situation is calling for you to have faith so here's what i see going on someone who is absolutely shunning love She's like look at her she won't even look at him and he wants to make a connection with her but she won't look at him all right and they're saying trust this go with it even though you're worried about finances and career sometimes things are better with two people like one of you might have a great finances and career situation and the other one of you might be great at doing all the things that this one doesn't have time to do right so i've been trying to explain to people you know um on a few of these readings we've had stuff come out where there was um you know people that were different than each other and in some of those situations the people that were different than each other also had finances and career come out and i feel like we have two people that have different kinds of jobs maybe one's a white collar worker one's a blue collar worker maybe one makes really good money and one doesn't or, or whatever it doesn't matter um whatever the situation is there could be other ways that people are different than each other but I feel like spirit is saying trust this give it a chance because you're going to be pleasantly surprised at what kind of effort and value this person does have it, you know if it's that or if you're worried because you don't make enough uh, money or you feel like you need to focus on finances and career before finding love because I understand that completely you want to have your uh, financial life in order before you bring someone into your life but spirit is saying trust us on this give love a chance and don't worry about that they kind of just want you to release that like that being married to a specific outcome 
Okay, and that's what we're always asked to do, to just trust and go with the flow. So in this situation, they're saying, give love a chance. Don't keep shunning it just because you're focused on finances and career. It's time for you to give this situation um, a chance and to trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith and to definitely look at that other person and trust that we are sending them in for you for a reason. So it, look, if Spirit's sending you someone right now and you're thinking, but my career, but my you know finances, blah, blah, blah. I'm worried about this and I'm worried about that. They're saying, please just trust us. This is all leading to something for both of you trust us okay so uh, hopefully that'll help somebody i know a lot of singles including myself that is like no i can't have anyone come into my life until i have my shit together you know i've been there done that and i feel like i totally can get whoever this is i get it i get it but they're saying look sometimes we bring people together so that they can work together as this brilliant team a, a power couple uh and one has strengths and one has other strengths, you know, and these strengths are meant to come together. Um, there's a reason why spirit brings people together and it's because they both have certain strengths and what you have been pushing away because you feel like you have to have all your ducks in a row first um, might not be the answer. The answer is to just trust spirit and go with the flow here. And if someone comes into your life, just give it a chance. Go on a few dates can't hurt right all right so we have a couple that needs to get to know each other again and express their love to each other again and make an effort and we have a couple here who needs to come together regardless of finances and career situation just come together and let spirit take over from there all right and that's what you're being called to do let's get some um tarot on it and see what comes out spirit and angels anyone for the highest good what do we need to know about this reading for aquarius for anyone with aquarius placements for the month of march 2021 it is the mid-month love reading what do we need to know and i'm sure that these carry um into april you know these these are just an idea of what's coming down the line for you guys so and and Anytime you find a reading online that you're drawn to or guided to watch, maybe that's the time you were supposed to watch it, right? All right, so spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, my intentions are to have these out for this mid-month love reading, but they can resonate at any time. What do we need to know? Aquarius couples and Aquarius singles. All right, let's see. Getting to know each other, making the effort, and expressing your love for the couples. What do the couples need to know about this reading, please? What's important? Yeah, somebody could be feeling a little down, a little depressed. What else do we need to know? Lack of clarity. Oh my gosh, yeah. Somebody doesn't know what's going on with their partner. Okay, so in this situation, when I have the sun and the moon, and the sun's reversed, this is definitely a lack of clarity. So someone doesn't know... Um, somebody's unclear on their partner's feelings or on what they want. Give me a little more information about this reading. Oh, that's way too many. Just one or two. A little more information, please. Sun reversed and the moon. Lack of clarity here. About what? About, yeah, absolutely. About what kind of forward movement there's going to be. We have the Wheel of Fortune and the Three of Stats. All right, so somebody is trying to figure out what the next step is here this could be couples that are not married yet trying to decide whether they're going to move towards marriage what is our next step going to be they're unclear it's time for conversation i i really feel like um some kind of conversation card could i think there is one in these love cards that's about conversation i definitely feel like a conversation needs to be had between these two people somebody doesn't know where this is going next um, they're debating on whether to move forward with the re with the relationship or to walk away. Eight of Cups. So this reading really is for someone who is confused about how their partner fe feels about them. So if you are the partner who hasn't been expressing your love or making any effort or planning date nights or anything, it's time to step up. If you don't want to walk away from this relationship... Um, and you want it to move to the next level, it's time for somebody to step up and start making plans and doing sweet little things, the things you used to do, all right? I'm going to move over to the singles now, and I'm going to come back and do some after tarot on this. 
All right, for the singles, for Aquarius singles, what do we need to know about finances and career? Give your relationship a chance and trust. Aquarius singles, what do we need to know about this reading for the people who will resonate with it? Finances and career, give your uh, give your relationship a chance and trust. Oops, that's a lot. Too many. Just one or two. Finances and career, give your relationship a chance and trust. For singles, Aquarius singles, anyone with Aquarius placements that's single. All right. Yeah, uh, absolutely. It's kind of, um, oh my gosh, absolutely. This is someone who doesn't want to move forward. All right, so what do we need, or isn't moving forward, I should say. What do we need to know about this? Yeah, absolutely. Someone's rejecting an opportunity to move forward. All right, give me anything else on this reading. This is someone who's rejecting an opportunity to move forward with someone. They don't trust it. They're worried about their finances, their career. That's too many. Just one or two, one or two more. Absolutely. All right. So here's the problem. At the bottom, we have wish fulfillment and a new beginning. The star and the ace of pentacles. It's at the bottom of your deck. I feel like there's an opportunity for a new beginning here. And immediately I knew someone was rejecting it. Look at this. The four of cups came out reversed and the page of cups came out reversed here they are in the upright but they both came out reversed all right they're both cards of rejecting something and look six of wands reversed and two of staves reversed this is someone who's unable to choose their way forward choose a path and move forward this is someone who's not moving forward so someone might be very disappointed about the fact that something's not moving forward as you can see there's one that's very excited and one that's not so someone here is not moving forward and the other one is disappointed about it. And I feel like something's got to give. Uh, the Knight of Swords coming out. This Knight of Swords always looks to me like someone who's afraid, but they do it anyway. Someone who faces their fear. So I feel as though this Knight of Swords is here to say, look, somebody's got to say something, move forward, do something. Even if that, in, you know, involves... Um, feeling rejected or you're afraid of rejection whatever it is this could just be in someone's mind where they're afraid they're not going to be successful they're afraid they're going to be rejected so they're afraid to face it they're saying face it anyway that's what this knight of swords does he goes up against his fears and faces it anyway this could just lead to wish fulfillment if you'll open your mouth and that's your card aquarius this would be um the star and ace of coins this is it's ace of pentacles same thing but ace of coins in this deck this is a brand new beautiful beginning but it's going to take you to get out of some kind of fear you've been fearful of doing this or they have somebody here has been fearful of moving forward somebody or somebody feels rejected or someone has rejected the opportunity to move forward we're going to get after tarot on it because it could be a different scenario for each of you i'm going to stay with um Aquarius singles first. So what do we need to... I, actually, you know what? I'm going to clarify this one. I feel like your side needs to be clarified here. Um, because there are several different scenarios that are going on here. I feel like some of you are afraid of rejection. Some of you could have rejected um, a new opportunity or been rejected. So let's find out. Or some of you are just fearful or... Or they are. All right. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good for this Aquarius reading. What do we need to know about it the most? We're going to start with the singles. I want to clarify the singles. What do we need to know about Aquarian singles over here with the four of cups and page of cups both reversed? What's important? Aquarius singles. Oops. In love in love for the month of march 2021 aquarius singles in love why are the page of cups and four of cups both reversed here yeah not moving forward absolutely knight of rods reversed wheel of fortune reversed again these are all cards of not everything's not moving forward why let's get um let's see if we can find out why uh, why is two of staves reversed, wheel of fortune reversed, knight of wands reversed, six of staves reversed? Why all this stuck energy? Why is this not moving forward for Aquarius couples? What's stuck here? 
Why is it not moving forward? Oh, because somebody betrayed somebody. Okay, Ten of Swords. Somebody um, was betrayed. And um, let's get a little more information. This cycle's ending, though. Um, it's just that someone's holding on to it. Okay, someone is stuck in an old cycle of betrayal. This might not even be going on anymore. Tell me more about why, um, why all the stuck energy here with the Ten of Swords and the stuck energy of the Six of Steves. Wheel of Fortune, Two of Steves, Knight of Rods, all reversed. Why is all this stuck energy here? Yeah, someone hasn't had any clarity about what's going on. All right, we have this. This is um, reversed. You got Seven of Cups and you have the um, Five of Wands. So this is um, someone chose someone else. All right, so I feel as though someone chose um, a different person. And like you, there's been clarity around this, um, but at the bottom, you do have 10 of cups at the bottom. You do have judgment at the bottom. I feel like someone needs to see this clearly and move on. I just feel like someone has been unable to actually understand fully why someone chose someone else or they're still waiting for them to make a different decision. Like any minute they're going to change their mind and come back to me. And I feel like somebody has been stuck in that, but you're letting beautiful new opportunities pass you by by waiting around for someone who's betrayed you, someone who chose another person. Um, basically, this is a reading of, of Spirit saying this cycle of betrayal is over. We want you to see it clearly for what it is. You're missing other opportunities. You keep turning your back on other opportunities and we're telling you to trust us. Okay, and listen, for some of you, you might have went through a harsh situation at work. Someone else had this finances and career thing come up. Um, either you feel like you don't make enough money or have a solid enough career to step into a new relationship. So you're holding out for that person who did you dirty. Um, for others of you, you could have had a really tough work situation that was betrayal, competitive. It never, you never progressed in it. And this could be all about like you now being able to accept new opportunities in your life. This could have even stopped you from like, um, pursuing love. You were just like too devastated about your job. That's very possible. I've seen that kind that came up in someone else's reading. All right. But this could have been somebody at work. This could have been, um, you know, a lot could have happened. You could have lost your job because of somebody who did you dirty and put you through emotional turmoil and it made you even mess up at work. You could have messed up your job for a person who was putting you through something. There's so many scenarios coming through in this one reading. I'm going to get a little more information about what this Knight of Swords is. Spirit wants you to move forward towards a new opportunity. This will be wish fulfillment. This is you, Aquarius. Tell me more about the Knight of Swords, Ace of Coins. What is this? Knight of Swords, Ace of Coins. This would be moving towards something new. What is this um, we need to know about this Knight of Swords, Ace of Coins? What do we need to know about it? Just one or two? Oh, gosh. Okay. Well, Knight of Cups reverse, Moon reverse. Okay, so this person... Um, we have cards of something coming out about someone, Knight of Cups reverse. So this, this is something coming out about someone who's not genuine or there's going to be a rejection or there was a rejection here. Um, let me get one more on this, um, Knight of Swords with the Ace of Coins. What is the new here? All I can see is that they want you to pull away from something here where you felt rejected. They want you to heal from whatever this rejection is you went through. Now, if it wasn't, if it was the other way around, it was the other way around. But what, what is the new beginning? We need to know. Yeah, Tower just tried to come out. Tell me about the Ace of Coins. What do we need to know about the Ace of Coins? Yeah, moving towards a new job opportunity. We have three of pentacles reverse and we have the two of rods. So listen, they want you to pull away from whatever this was. That For a lot of you, this was a job, but it affected your love life and somehow it's coming out in the love reading. So they're saying pull away from whatever this is. They want you to choose a total different path and go in a new direction. And once you do with the two of wands eyeing it up and once you decide to actually knight of swords, go for it and move towards it, it's going to be a beautiful new beginning. 
the star ace of coins but the problem is whatever this is that happened whether it was a third party situation in romance or a work situation that was very tumultuous and you felt very betrayed whatever it is this could have been someone you met at work but whatever it is it's been completely stuck world reversed six of wands reversed again you had both of those in here you had the wheel reversed and the six of wands reversed they want you to put that behind you death card done they want you to pretty much just move forward get unstuck someone's been sitting around i don't know if you've been waiting for something to come back around an old job opportunity an old love an old person an old boss somebody you knew from work something um, or it just could be love. Whatever this is, somebody's been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for someone to come back. And, you know, the truth is, even if they did come back, this is not genuine or there's going to be a rejection. I feel like what you don't know is they're not coming back. I feel like you are just so focused. Now, this might be the other person. Somebody is so, so focused on their coming back. Any minute, this is going to come back around. They're going to, you know, no, this cycle is over. Um, and you know, it, the problem, the only thing not letting the cycle end is the fact that you're not moving forward. World reversed, wheel reversed. I mean, look at all these. These are all cards of not moving forward here. I mean, even the Knight of Cups, the disingenuous, uh, or, you know, what you don't know is that there's going to be a rejection here. Even that's a card of not moving forward. It's a knight in reverse. You've got so many cards of saying that this is not moving forward nothing this is all stuck energy four of cups reversed knight of rods reversed six of staffs reversed two of staffs reversed knight of cups reversed wheel of fortune reversed and the world reversed and the six of wands reversed right at the bottom this and this, the four of swords is stagnancy it's somebody who's playing dead not doing anything i mean almost every one of your cards is either a card of not happening rejection the page of cups reversed and the knight of cups reversed or something that is not moving forward and the the uh, and it has to do with something you have to see clearly about someone who i feel someone chose someone else the third party and if this is work someone else was chosen for the job it's just that you're not clear on it you don't see it clearly and they're asking you to please see it clearly this there was some kind of you felt totally um betrayed or you felt stabbed in the back or something and they're saying look face your fears and your fear has been to actually move i feel like you feel if you move forward they're going to come back and you're you're not going to be there that's not happening okay this cycles over this was a cycle of betrayal this was a cycle of pain this was a cycle of stagnancy that you have been stuck in a long time rejecting anything or anyone that comes at you because you're holding out for that one thing or that one person they're saying trust us look go with the flow and trust us we've been sending people your way you've been rejecting them and all we want you to do is face your fears and move forward towards a new beginning that's when the miracles start happening for you and wish fulfillment starts coming in i feel like this is a lesson that someone here whether it's you or them has refused to learn and that's why you're not getting anything you want if you don't release from this and move forward towards something new you're i'm telling you the minute you do it you're going to start seeing your life change in a really great way but the thing is, you've been too afraid to face that. You think that if you move forward, if you actually take and choose a path that's different and new and abundant, that you're going to miss out on something from the past. But you know what you're missing out on from the past? Deception and betrayal. That's what you're missing out on from the past. You're also missing out on um, disingenuous offers, someone who's not the real deal, someone who doesn't have your best interest in heart. Here's one of them. I don't know where the other one went, but, um, you know, this is somebody who's not, not got your highest good here. You know, they're a knight of wands. They're a, a page of cups. And I thought we had another one here. I don't know where it went, but, um, it, yeah, here it is. King of cups. They're all in reverse. These are all player. This is player, um, energy and i don't say that that often but this scraggly little run was your teacher this was your teacher 
um, you were here to learn a lesson from this person. And from the looks of it, you, you haven't learned because you're staying all these stagnant cards everywhere are saying you haven't done anything with this lesson. You haven't properly learned it. You're playing dead here. You're just not doing anything. And they want you to get some kind of clarity, face it, and then do something. And that something is going to take you, I, I promise you. When you start moving forward and leave this betrayal behind you and all this deception behind you from this bad teacher, they're actually a great teacher. Karmics are a great teacher. They teach us what we don't want, right? They teach us what we do want and we they te teach us how to handle it the next time, okay? And, um, you know, for those of you that refuse to learn the lessons, you just keep going through karmic after karmic after karmic. Once you decide to actually do what they're asking you do to do and move forward boom wish fulfillment new beginning it's beautiful it really is you're going to be so happy when you do this guys all right so for the singles you've been stuck in an old karmic cycle no doubt about it release this old karmic cycle because once you do you start heading to a new beginning that's beautiful but you're not getting it for free you're going to have to face the truth. You're going to have to face the lesson. And you're going to have to face the strength of moving forward without the person who did you dirty or the people or whatever it was. For some of you, it was a work situation. For some of you, it's definitely a love. For some of you, it's both. All right, now go back to the couples because they're getting ignored over here. Okay, the couples just need to see something clearly and decide whether they're going to move together or whether they're going to separate and one is going to walk away. Um, I got to be honest with you guys. That's what's coming through in this reading. If someone doesn't step up here and make an effort in this um, couple situation, the other person feels like they don't care. All right, whichever one you are. All right, and they are thinking of walking away. Remember that Eight of Cups was here at the bottom with the Three of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune here. Someone's not sure whether they should move together or whether they should walk away. And they're trying to figure that out. They're trying to get clarity on it. Right now, they're unclear. Or they're unclear on whether their person's walking away. Maybe they feel you're walking away, all right? Or vice versa, you know, flip it if it needs to be. So let's get you some after tarot here. We're going to go to the couples first because I feel like the couples got, you know, they didn't have, they had a more clear reading than the singles. All right. So for couples, what comes next if spiritual advice is followed here? What comes next? What comes next for this couple, for these couples that are going to resonate with this reading? Aquarius. Yeah. Yeah beautiful peace happiness home uh let's get another one please this is beautiful happy family life yeah absolutely peace again in the family life this is really nice look at all this for me the four of wands is peace so is the six of swords and the, it's all about your family L look you're gonna have this is gonna feel really really nice if one of you will start plan something plan something romantic Plan, you know, um, plan a night out. The following week, plan a night in, okay? Have a, you know, have dinner delivered. You know, do something nice and have someone watch the kids. Just plan something romantic, guys. It's time. Once a week, once a month, something. All right, I feel like you're going to be really, really happy to do if you guys do this. You're, it's going to rekindle something. You guys still live, love each other. It's just that someone feels very neglected here. All right, back to um, Aquarius couples. All right, what happens if this person does decide to walk away from this old stuck cycle and walk into a new cycle? What happens if they agree to start dating again start doing anything again just one card please one or two what happens here if anyone decides to okay yep absolutely absolutely oh my gosh and for some of you it was definitely work all right so at the bottom this is what was there healing from a work situation for some of you this was a work situation that was really hard that you're healing from for some of you it's something you worked really hard on a person and it didn't work out and that was devastating to you because you put your all into this and it's kept you stuck like how dare they choose the other person when I put so much work into this for some of you it was a work situation that has affected even your love life that it was so devastating 
they're saying go back to the past revisit it to have one last look at it a glance at it this is just mentally look at it again and start considering yourself keep the cup for yourself look get that cup that you gave away to someone else pick it up and drink from it yourself this it's time for self-love here this person or the situation that did you dirty does not deserve you to keep investing in it they want you to get the cup keep it for yourself and then move forward towards your new beginning full speed ahead look at this the knight of wands moving full speed ahead towards a new beginning victoriously with more wisdom than they had before seeing something clearly seeing the truth in something and realizing that you need to move away from the past this night is moving away from all this emotions this is all about emotions that need to be faced from the past and then you need to invest the emotions in yourself this night keeps the cup for themselves they don't offer it to someone else forward facing facing the truth facing the lessons that needed to be learned here this is a card of victory but it's wisdom that came along with it your new beginning comes with a bunch of wisdom learned from a karmic past this was a karmic cycle no doubt about it all right guys i hope that this made sense to you guys i'm going to pull a couple angel cards for each of you angels what do you want the um couples for aquarian the aquarius reading what do you want the couples to know about or focus on please how about the singles what do they need to know about or focus on And, oh, that healing card right on top was on my finger. I'm going to take that, too. So you guys got three. You got couples, got inspiration and enthusiasm. Exactly. Somebody does need to get inspired and enthusiastic about rekindling this relationship. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. If you guys will put some, make the effort, get to know each other again and express your love to each other, you're going to love this. Look, this is, this is spirit saying, make it fun. Go roller skating, go to the movies, act like teenagers again, okay? Over here with the um, singles, a healing. Definitely a healing is needed. This is These two cards both spelled a healing for me. In fact, so did this one. This taking a look back at it and realizing that cup was never full for you. Uh, you need your, your cup has to be filled by yourself, for yourself. That's where your healing begins. Healing. And then you're going to be open to this new to new love and new relationships it was a karmic education no doubt about it education comes out when there was a karmic lesson to be learned what did i say you get your new beginning when you see the lesson you need to see what was it i needed to learn here that's when you get your new beginning this healing needs to be done and you are going to be so grateful that you follow through with this because you will finish a long overdue karmic cycle that needed to come to a close so that you can have a brand new beginning you're going to be in great gratitude of this um i really believe some somebody several somebody's here have been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for something that is not coming it's not coming it wasn't supposed to come it was a karmic education you're supposed to be looking towards the new. You're supposed to be wanting better for yourself. And you're supposed to be engaging in something beautiful by now. You just haven't made, you haven't finished the karmic lesson because you won't, you won't um, admit to it. You won't accept it. You won't move forward. Um, but you're missing out on so much amazingness here. You're missing out on a brilliant, beautiful new beginning. So they're saying, please get the lesson learn it heal from it walk away with great gratitude for the lesson into the new cycle which will be brilliant from the lessons you learned from the past you will succeed but you're gonna have to follow through okay all right guys i hope that this is helpful to somebody please like share subscribe if you enjoyed it hit that thumbs up much appreciated it helps the readings get out to other people and it helps the channel um, if you need a personal reading, my information is directly beneath this video in the description area. Just reach out to me by email on the subject line of your email. Please write personal or private reading on the subject line so that I know what you're looking for and so that I read and answer your email. If you want to comment, comment down below. Get that energy flowing between us. Um, keep that energy flowing between us. All right, guys, let me know if you felt like any of this resonated with you. 
Um, okay, guys, have a great week. Talk to you soon. Bye.